Hello everyone, this is Prashant. Uh, welcome to REST Automation uh, Series. Uh, today we are going to see the, how to pass the parameter in the URL and we are going to do on manual uh, in the postman and we are going to do automation in the Python request. Okay. Uh, today is a six day class. Okay. Uh, first of all, what is, the, how, what is the parameter and how to pass it? So basically, so this is the, our normal URL. In the URL, when you want to short or filter in the entire results so at that time we need to pass some certain filters okay so that's why we are using parameters basically after the url we need to represent the question mark with the which is called as a string uh, okay. and then after that question mark we need to pass the parameter and value like suppose you are passing a page and which page we need like that okay after that what is this add un symbol means suppose you have a multiple conditions so at that time we need to use a and parameter like we call this and operators right so on, we use that on the operators that time both the condition should match okay so based upon this the filter result will come okay so uh, we guys know this is the url we are using in uh, our series from the last uh, video so i will uh, share this url in the description as well you can take it okay this is our base url and for giving the get request we need to pass this okay so in this if you scroll up yesterday and i showed it in the video as well so there are two parameters there one is page and per page page is like suppose the result is coming in 100 pages i want the second page results so that means we can pass in the page and per page that means in the same page how many data i need like 10 20 or even two so i want only two results in that page that means so those parameters we need to pass in are in our the url okay so we are going to do in right now in the postman so basically i am copying this url okay i'm copying this url i'm opening the postman how to create a new request you want to click on the new button after clicking the new button click on the request option i need to giving a name like param parameters test it's like some you can give any name and i'm selecting a folder and i'm clicking on a button okay so this is a get request basically so i'm passing the url after see this in this diagram after passing the url what we need to give we need to next we need to give the question mark so question mark we given next thing is that team is telling you need to pass the page that's a string okay i'm coming here so i'm facing page so page i'm telling like i need a third page okay after that what we telling you suppose you have two condition means you should have and operator so what i'm doing i'm giving a and operator after that what is the second parameter second parameter is per page so i'm what i'm doing i'm copying this per page and i'm pasting this per page i need a like four each page i need only four so i'm right now i'm requesting a third page and in four data okay i'm clicking on the send button see this only one two three four data suppose i am requesting only the second data means only two data in the page means when I send this, see this, only I am getting a two data, so it will filter, okay, and suppose I want this in the form of first page means, so simply I can use that only the data was changed, see this, the ID is modified from the previous to this, okay, so this is how we need to pass the parameters in the URL, okay, basically we have a headers we can pass, we can pass in the request body, but another one of way is passing in the URL, okay, so this is basically used for sorting and filtering, okay, so right now we are going to do the same thing in automation, okay, the same for the same functionality, so I am opening a PyCharm, I am going to create a new uh, Python file, right click on the project, click on new, click on python file i'm giving like parameters let us test something so i'm clicking on enter so the empty pages created okay so i'm going to create first thing is as usual we need to import import which one we need to import the request library because that library only has the all the la api rest api functions okay next thing is we need to create a parameters so last time we created headers right in the same time same manner we need to create the parameters so what are the parameters first thing is page right so the key and value okay i have to pass the page and page number and comma 
after that what i need to do i need to pass the per page per page and this is like i'm telling like three data i need this three okay so right now is parameter is ready next i'm giving i'm we need, we need the url for testing so what i will do i will copy this url up to users okay in this automation we don't need to mention a question mark we don't need it okay for that we have other different settings right now i have the url next thing i'm going to hit the one request i'm going to give a response so storing the response from the request which request we are passing we are using a get request method okay so we are using get so what are the one thing we need to pass we need to pass the url next thing we need to pass the parameters so for that we need to have a params see this params and i need to pass the variable of parameter so previously we studied about passing header passing json today we are studying about the params so this param is used to, to pass the parameters in the url okay so after this what i am doing i am going to do i am going to print the response okay so print response dot json so this will print the response coming in next thing we need to do the assertion like testing so we need to verify assert the response dot status code what is the status code expectation we, we are expecting the 200 see here this, this is giving 200 so i am telling i am expecting a 200 that's it so we have a uh, importing the request libraries and we carrying uh, creating the parameter suppose you need some sometimes json or anything simply uh, you can pass any headers okay i'm going to click on the right click and running this parameter class this file see this totally how many results like this is on id 2 it is three four five so right now we are giving three pages so we got like three contents we are needing a three outputs okay so when i pass only i need only one data and i'm send clicking on the run button means so see this it will give only one result it after filtering from the third page okay so we need, we need to learn in this parameters params keyword so thanks for joining in if you like the video please uh, like and subscribe and share to your friends and in next classes we are going to see the very important topic like passing a data from json file itself previously we are storing in a variable right tomorrow class we are going to study how to pass a json file like on dot json file from there how i can i pass the request body okay so that is a very important topic okay so thanks for joining in